Hello, Western Oregon sports fans, and welcome to this edition of Wolves Weekly. Joining me in studio today, halfway through the GNAC season, we have head men's basketball coach Brady Burgess. And how are you doing today, Brady? Good, Danny. Thanks. Well, you guys are starting out the year pretty good, at least from everybody else. A lot of buzz going on, as we've talked about right now. 14 and 4 on the season. 7-2 and two in the GNAC, leaves you right now tied um, for second place with yep. Alaska Anchorage. Um, one game out of first against um, Western Washington, who you guys actually beat earlier in the year. Mm -hmm. But just talk to me a little bit. Um, I'd just like to hear a little bit about your first half and maybe how you assess that first half. I'm jumping a little bit ahead in the script, but... Yeah, no problem. You know, it's, uh, you know I would say conference play so far has been pretty close to what we anticipated it would be, meaning... Uh, extremely tough every night, no matter whether you're at home or, or on the road. And uh, I think it speaks uh, volumes about this conference. I think it's a tremendous conference, top to bottom. Uh, it, it's extremely tough. You've got to feel very fortunate to come out of games victorious. And I think, you know, uh, looking forward, I really think that, um, you know, games are going to get tighter and tighter uh, as they go. Everyone right now is jockeying for position, of course. It's that time of year. So, uh, there's several teams, uh, you know, within a game of each other, um, you know, first to second, second to third, so on and so forth, all the way down. And uh, everybody's still got a chance, you know, a, a realistic chance to, to try to get into the conference playoffs. And, and so, uh, you know, with teams continuing to, uh, to improve across the board, I think some uh, the games down the road here are going to be, um, if they haven't already been close enough, I think I really see them getting tighter and tighter. You guys had a couple... You guys always seem to play close games, so I hope they don't get too much closer for the Wolves' sense because mm -hmm. you guys couldn't have pulled off too many more three-point types of wins than you did that first half of the season. But this last week, you guys had uh, two more home games to kind of close out your three-game home stand as you had it. Um, this last Thursday, you guys actually suffered a loss to Alaska Anchorage, the team that was picked to, as the conference favorites this year, and the team actually tied with you guys in second place right now, both teams with a 7-2 and two conference record. Mm -hmm. And then you guys go on and um, beat Alaska Fairbanks on Saturday. Talk to me a little about the, unfortunately, the loss that happened against Anchorage mm -hmm. there. Sure. Well, you said, I mean, they were, you know, they were picked uh, to win the conference for a reason. Uh, a terrific team, and they you know, we actually were able to um, to uh, get to Taylor Rohde, their big kid underneath, and got him into foul trouble. Uh, large, and yeah, I don't I don't know how much of a, an impact uh, what we did. Uh, we were a little bit fortunate to get him in foul trouble, but their guards really came through. And and at the end of the day, they they um, you know they really executed well offensively and hit some big shots. And particularly, I think uh, where we lost the game was on the you know on the offensive side. Uh, we, we quick shot the ball a little bit, we got a little impatient, and I really credit their defense. Um, uh, took some things away, and uh, they did a nice job, and uh, some things that you know, exposed us for some things that we'll have to get better at uh, down the, the back stretch here. And then you guys came back against, had a, a rebound in the game against Alaska mm -hmm. Fairbanks. Um, very good to see, it was really the team effort you got to see in that game. Yeah. You guys out-rebounded them by 12. Um, Blair Whedon was actually the team's leading rebounder, tied with James Gehring with eight apiece. So everybody, and I believe it was six guys, had four rebounds or more. And then on the same note, all five of your starters got in double figures. It was almost, it seemed like a collective team effort out there. The guys, at least from the outside point of view, seemed to maybe have that little bit of refocus and decided to play together as a team, as you talked about. Not the quick shots, not the other ones. They were looking and really did a good job on Saturday finding the, finding the open guy. Yeah, I think we did a better job there. Offensively, we moved the ball around a little better and, and uh, played off each other a little bit better. And I think we had a, more of a, a single mindset to do that. And, and you know, the, the, re the rebounding battle is is key, as everyone knows, as well. And I think, you know, the same mindset comes into play where, you know, for us, we've got to, you know, we've got to be, a, it's got to be a team effort. It's got to be five guys on the defensive boards trying to chase it down. And, um, you know, again, w we had a better effort, a better focus that night uh, to take care of those details. And I think that offensively, um, you know, we were just a little more patient and, and defensively, uh, we kind of stuck to our guns a little bit and, and communicate a little bit better uh, with one another. Well, talking about some of those ones, as you talked about, some of the things that led to success right there, mm -hmm. what are you guys going to need to do in the second half of the GNAC season, nine more league games remaining, in order to have the success that you guys are hoping for and the, uh, reach those goals that you set out early for yourself in the season? Yeah, you know, uh, we still learn a lot about this team as we go, and I think, um, you know, 
we're definitely going to have to execute a little bit better and get it a little sharper, um, you know, and uh, clean up those edges offensively with, with some of our sets and, and what we do um, and really um, be uh, detail minded that way, you know, and then, you know, defensively, uh, we've got to do what we do and uh, just continue to, to stick to our trademarks that we've established. And when we stick with those, we're pretty good. Uh, when we stray from them, that's when we struggle. And so we've just got to be us and uh, just continue to refine those details as we go. Fantastic. Well, Brady, thanks very much for coming in today. Um, just want to let everybody know we'll have Brady back in studio a little later this week. There's an opportunity to talk to them about their trip as they go up to Montana State Billings and to Seattle Pacific to start the second stretch of their GNAC season. So I just want to say thank you, everybody, for watching this edition of Wolves Weekly, and see you again later in the week.